All right, you've learned the natural harmonics. Now we go to the more complex, more difficult harmonic that is called the palm harmonic. And the thing with the palm harmonic is we're going to do this with our right palm right here instead of using my left pinky. Now it's not going to be typically on an open string. With a palm harmonic, we can play any chord we want. So, here's what's going on. You see people do these all the time, and then you go, I can't do that. And uh, it's, it's difficult. It takes some timing, and it takes some finesse. Um, but here, I'm going to start here with the... Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm putting the bar on, say, well, wherever. But for this example, I'm going to use the fifth fret. So I'm on a C chord. Now... Remember when we used the capo and we moved the harmonic? So I could, I could have a natural harmonic here on the 17th fret with my bar on the 5th fret. That's 12 frets up. But I would have to lay this pinky down here to do it, and this pinky is occupied holding the bar. So now I have to do the other two parts with one hand. This is tricky. Um, so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to, I'm aiming with this part of my hand for the 17th fret. I don't really care where my thumb is. That's what I'm going to play with. But this part of my hand right here, I'm going, okay, 17th fret right here. And that's where I have a harmonic. Now, I'm just gently touching the strings with the palm of my hand right there and then getting off of it to let the harmonic ring once I do it. So it has to be in the right spot. It has to be light. Now, there's some cool things about these palm harmonics. One of the things that's nice is after you play a harmonic like this and you've got the bar already down, you can move it. is something you can't do with your natural harmonics. Well, I shouldn't say can't. You usually wouldn't. So, now you can play harmonics on any string, any note you want, and I really exclusively do these on the 12 frets up from wherever my bar is. Um, the, you could... You could... You could get some more, and, and sometimes on an electric steel guitar, you could get more use out of these kind of higher ones. With the acoustic, these are not real loud and hard to make a whole lot of real good use out of. So for the most part, the 12 frets up uh, is sufficient. So now you can play melodies. Now the blocking gets tricky because, um, you know, we use our <laughs> hand to block. Now we're using our hand for two things to get the harmonic. The other thing that's really difficult about these is that we usually keep our eyes on our left hand so that we play in tune. So now I've got my eye on the left hand to get the bar in the right spot. I still have to use my eyes over here on my right hand to get my right hand in the right spot. At the end of the day, it takes a lot of practice. Sometimes it's good to... Um, just kind of hit the whole chord. And remember, you want to keep it light. One of the things about these harmonics is they're not particularly loud. They do kind of cut through the mix because of...
the tonality of them, but they're not super loud. And there's a tendency to try to get them louder when you're, if you're on stage trying to do something with harmonics, especially in a solo or something like that. Um, I would say that normally, if you try to play them louder, it, it just reduces the chances that you're going to get a good sounding harmonic, and you're better off just trying to get it as clean as possible. That probably affects the volume more than playing harder. Playing harder just, well, yeah, it can just end up being sloppy. So just focus on getting it as clean as you can and understand that it's a quieter thing. It's going to be quieter, and, and that's okay. So uh, that's palm harmonics. And as you can see, like right there, I missed about half of them. You're going to get some clunkers when you try this. You'd be like, man, I tried doing this exactly the way Joe told me. And what I get was... Uh, that happens um, a fair amount of the time when you try to do one of these on stage. So uh, usually good to say a little prayer of some kind before you go do a harmonic. And hope you can get it. The more you practice it, the you know, the better your chances are. But you're still going to hit a clunker once in a while. So don't don't get too frustrated by that. The other thing I should mention is you saw you see I, I took my arm out of the strap. This is um, pretty typical. Sometimes, so if I'm on the seventh fret here, I could probably get to where I need to get. But see how that kind of like moved the guitar. So my, my arm isn't really free to get to where it needs to be. So typically if I'm planning on doing something with harmonics, I get my arm out of the strap so that I'm free to do that. Now if you can do that without dropping the guitar, it's a bonus. <laughs> so you'll see that a lot of times where people will, will get their arm out of the strap. And sometimes uh, you can do it with could do that if you want. Whatever's more comfortable. The higher up the neck you are, the less important it is. I mean, if I'm down here on the second fret and I'm trying to... That moves the guitar pretty good. I'd be better off doing that. So you'll see that move a lot where somebody's going for a palm harmonic and they do this. So it takes a little bit of foresight to, to know that, oh, I'm going to do something with a harmonic. I better get ready. And sometimes you can do it a little bit early, you know, and you can play for... A, Um, you know, you, you don't have to do it only for this one harmonic and then back real quick. You can, you can kind of stay there while you're, while you're doing something that has harmonics. And then when you have a chance, you get it back here, you get more secure. Palm harmonics. Good luck.